day crafty chums it's nikki here aka custom to cat aka custom to cat's life and i'm coming at you with an acrylic pour but not just an acrylic pour this is a <clears throat> three cup dirty pour uh with negative space and and that's not all and a um drag and flip cup pour Okay, did you get all that? <laughs> anyway, here's me. Um, these are some leftover paints, and I think that I had them hanging around for a week. And so I'm just adding it. I don't normally add water to my paints, but um, I had to this time because they really thickened up a lot after the week. So I, I really did have to um, add some water to them. Uh, as I say, I don't normally do that in my pores. I just have uh, flow troll and acrylic paint. Now, th th keep it simple, I say. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm just pouring in all the different colours and I really am just using up the last of the paints that I've got on my desk. And, and this is what this is about. Uh, I didn't quite use them all because I didn't use the gold and I didn't use the silver I've got out there. So I've, maybe I'll do a gold and silver pour. Who knows? Who knows? Anything's possible. So here we go. I'm just using up what I've got in these pots here. Just empty, empty them into these three little cups. Um, in hindsight, now, as I keep saying, the more you do, the more you learn. I would know next time if I did this again, I don't need three cups. <laughs> it's a six by six canvas there. Um, even those, the, those are teeny weeny little bottles um it's still too much really for the a negative space pour but uh <coughs> live and learn live and learn <laughs> it's a huge learning process this acrylic pouring uh, what you can and can't do and you get to know how much um paint you actually need for things so i'm just using it uh, really i'm just i think the reason why i overdid it was because i'm just using up the paints now whether reason for it I suppose. I didn't use silicone in it but they might already have had silicone in them I don't I can't remember that paint has been hanging around so long I don't actually remember what's in it um, so I didn't add any silicone to it <coughs> excuse me um, so I've uh, tipped up the cups there and now I'm just pouring out some uh, white that I have and smoothing it out a little bit it's um white acrylic paint with Floetrol just smoothing it out just getting a nice little my negative space ready and I almost ran out of negative space because uh, I have too much paint <laughs> in the pots but hey ho Live and learn, live and learn, live and learn. <laughs> so here we go, am I ready? Mm -hmm. There we go, just uh, dragging it around now, just doing a little bit of a pattern thing and there we go. Dragging around and there we go. <laughs> dragging around and this is where I realised that actually I've got too much paint there, but never mind. Never mind. Here we go, just give it a little bit of a tilt thing going on. Didn't actually need to do much because I'm trying actually to keep a negative space and because I've uh, got too much paint it was um if I'd have tilted any more than that it would have been just too much. Too too much. <laughs> oh did I did I yeah, I think I went for, um, I must have realised that I had some um, silicone in there and I torched it because I could see there was a little bit of silicone, but really, basically, it did nothing else extra than what you see there. Not a lot going on. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I know it's too much paint because it's taken a long time to dry. It's still drying. <laughs> So I just want to say thanks very much for watching and see you again soon. Bye.